Back here on the program alongside Cody Saftik and for our fans in Halifax, Nova Scotia, they were dealt a blow, the rematch that just is not meant to be between Junior Dos Santos and Stefan Struve. Stefan Struve is off of the card in that main event. He suffered a torn labrum. He is going to require surgery. It's expected he'll be out four months. This uh, initially coming from uh, Combate out of Brazil reporting the news. And I'm looking at the lay of the land oh, yeah. and heavyweight Cody. There is no real easy option here of who you fit in. To me, Fabricio Verdum, that would be, in a perfect world, the guy who he had just trained for Cain Velasquez, didn't get to fight December 30th. You insert him here. Is that, sorry Halifax, too big of a fight, though, to be throwing on this random Sunday night fight card involving two legitimate contenders at heavyweight? Because after Fabricio Verdum, it's a big, you're going outside of the top 10 to look for a heavyweight. It's tough to find a heavyweight in this division, uh, at least somebody that JDS hasn't already fought and has recently, you know, relatively ranked around the same spot as he is, and that's exactly it. I think when you look at the rankings right off the hop, Fabrizio Verdun's the guy that jumps out. There's the history there. It's a rematch that people want to see. There was a little bit of back and forth going on at UFC um, prior to the UFC after Cain Velasquez obviously pulled out of the fight, and I think that there's a good storyline there. It's the fight to make. Would they put that in Halifax? I don't think so. Is Fabrizio Verdun looking to take that fight? I'm not so sure. If you're Junior DeSantos, there's a lot of interesting matchups for you. The problem is it's all about timing, and timing just doesn't make sense. No, everyone's booked, everyone's and they're not going booked. back to Ben Rothwell. No, they're not going back to Ben Rothwell, which, shockingly, when you're looking at who's not booked, you're like, oh, Ben Rothwell. No, let's not put this rematch together. But when you look at the fact that JDS has the win over Stipe Miocic, could do that rematch. Oh, wait. We're not going to put the fight right away together. And listen, the guy's just won one fight. He's on a one-fight winning streak, essentially. Not even a streak. He's going to have to win a couple more. You look at the Cain Velasquez fight, it's like, okay, you know what? They've already fought uh, many times in the past. But with Cain's injuries and JDS and the way the lay of the land is, people would watch that fight again. But Cain just got this back surgery. When you look at all these different options for them, Alistair Overham just beat him and has the fight book with Mark Hunt. Pretty much everybody's booked up for the most part. So now you're starting to get into that ranked 8th, ninth, 10th in the division where you get your Stefan Struves, where you get your Travis Browns. And none of those options with Struve being hurt, obviously, none of those options really make sense. So it's a tough spot. The Fabrizio Verdun fight makes the most sense. But I would have to say that they use that as a co-feature on another card. A Wait, when you card, have so many cards to fill, like that's a fight that the winner, that's the other uh, thing to Fabrizio Verdum, Stipe Miocic has nobody. That's what we were no, thinking that's what I mean. JDS Verdum would and mean. Velasquez right. would produce the next contender. So he's got no one. There's a decent chance Verdum could fight for the title next if, if Kane's not ready coming off of his surgery and Stipe's ready to fight in April. That could be the heavyweight title fight. So I, I don't discount the idea that Junior Dos Santos doesn't even fight on this Halifax card, which if that becomes the case, you have to question the viability of this card because it does not have a main event. It does not have a main event to this point, and it's just around the corner in the grand scheme of things. There's so many moving parts with the UFC that you can't just say, oh, well, well, we'll throw something on there when the time comes. No, they need a big, a big headliner, so to speak. The last time they went to Halifax, they had marquee fight on it. So they're going to add something at some point. I would have to say JDS, JDS is going to get the yank and they're going to replace with something else. But to be perfectly honest with you, and you make a great point, Fabrice Silverdoom is probably the next logical step for Stipe Miocic. It's a good rematch. They're likely set that fight up. And with Stipe not having anybody, Fabrizio Verdum is likely going to be in a number one contender fight. That never takes place. He wants the title fight, just give it to him. But I honestly would rather see the Junior DeSantos Stipe Miocic yeah. rematch. Listen, they've both won and won in their last two, so they're both in the same situation. JDS has a win over both Fabrizio Verdum and Stipe Miocic, and it was a good fight. It was a good five rounds. Both guys have obviously changed a lot since then. If he's not fighting here and Stipe needs a guy, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not complaining about the fight. I think it's a great fight. So there's definitely options for him, but in terms of finding someone last minute to throw into Halifax, heavyweight's not the type of division where you can be like, you know what, just give me a local guy. Or, hey, you know what, give me someone who's looking to break out. It's like, no, there's, there's not anybody. There just isn't. And as much as I'd see my boy Francis Ngannou get the shot, he's got Andre Arlovsky. So just pretty much everyone's booked up or doesn't have the name or reputation to just jump up and take a guy like a former champion, the name of Junior DeSantos. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm the UFC, maybe I'm calling up our man Shogun and saying, hey, you're not going to Brazil. <laughs> you're fighting Misha Serkinov, just like John Pollock and Cody Saftik said you should have for this card in Halifax. And we I like have it. had this problem. I like it. So we will find out what Halifax gets as Stefan Struve is off of the February 19th card with a torn labrum.